One autumn day, Daisy arrived at the big station with passengers from Harwick. JJ, I have some very important news for you. Ooh, what is it, sir? The Railway Society from the mainland is coming to visit. When they arrive, they want you to cheer them to Olstead Castle. The Railway Society? Oh, thank you, sir. But who will... Your passengers will be fine. I have arranged for William to cheer them while you're away. Thank you very much, sir. Daisy was excited. She spent the rest of the day telling everyone she met about her important job. Oh, Henry! Yes, Daisy? I have some formidable novels. I'm going to take the Railway Society to Ostead for the day. The Railway Society? Again? Why, yes. But why you? Surely the fat controller should have given that job to an engine like me. Not some buzzbox that's liable to break down, eh? Oh, how reminiscent your reaction is of the time when I first took them. What happened back then, Daisy? Well, the Railway Society came to see me back when I was new. Before moving to Harwood, Daisy used to work on Thomas's branch line. Because she was the first official diesel on the Fat Controller's Railway, enthusiasts flocked to see her. This made most of the steam engines jealous, especially Henry. Hello boys, how are things? Fine, everything is just fine. Oh, you're in a bit of a grumpy mood, Henry. Do you that I, a diesel rail car, is getting some attention because I'm new? But you know what they say, out goes the old and in with the new. Oh, she's worse than Thomas and Percy with all her teasing. Rude branch line engines. I don't know what the fat controller or those enthusiasts see in her. Daisy, I have some wonderful news. Because of your popularity in the Thin Clergyman's books last year, the Railway Society is coming to visit you in a couple of days, and we want to have a special trip with you on Thomas's branch line. The Railway Society? Who are they, sir? A group of people who are interested in all things railways, replied Duck. Oh, I say, that does sound amazing. Thank you, sir. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. I'd arrange for Toby to take your passengers. Cheerio! That night, Henry puffed into the station with his last passenger train. Daisy was nearby, ready to take passengers on her last train as well. What are you so smug about? I'll be taking the Railway Society in just two days. The ra ra Railway Society? The Railway Society? But why you? I would think that the Society must want to ride things that are more modern, not some old smelly steam engine. Smelly? You should talk. We steam engines may not be a delightful smell to some, but you diesels release those nasty fumes when leaving the station. You have to be the worst engine I've ever met, and I say that as someone who has been a victim of name-calling before by a diesel, I might add. Typical diesels, always rude. Next day was the usual for Daisy, or so she thought. Oh no, I'm slowed down! Oh! Oh blimey, your engine's failed! Oh no! Then to make matters worse, Henry puffed by after pulling the flying kipper. He saw Daisy and laughed. Well, 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 Daisy, broken down, are you? 
Yes! Ah, so much for the new modern diesel. Typical diesel, always going on about themselves being amazing, and then they break down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Henry, I get it. All right, come on, I'll take you to the next station. Henry shunted Daisy into a siding at Lower Tidmouth, and Thomas took her passages. Later, the fat controller came to see her. Please, sir, tell me I'll be fixed in time for tomorrow. It depends on your engine and the time to look over it. Meanwhile, I have to find an alternative just in case. The works was very busy as Daisy waited in a siding looking forlorn. The next day came and Henry was being washed and polished to be ready for the Railway Society. Make sure you get my green paint so shiny that the society members can see their faces on my boiler. Now you're sounding like James and Daisy mixed together, teased Gordon. Well... <coughs> I'm better than that green buzz box. You'll never see me breaking down. And he puffed away importantly. Henry arrived at the big station as the society members hopped off Bertie the bus. As they trundled along the line towards Thomas's junction, Henry began to feel tired. Then he started to cough and wheeze. Then he came to a complete stop. What happened? The order of this low grey call we got us dirty, replied his driver crossly. That explains the coughing this morning. I can't make steam properly and your boiler might be bad. We better get some help. They would have to wait for help, however, as before they knew it, along came... Well, 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 Henry. Broken down, are you? Typical steam engines, always boasting about how reliable they are compared to diesels. But then they break down! Help later arrived as Duck came to pull Henry back to the station. The society members looked miserable. Yoo-hoo, society members! All aboard for Thomas's branch line! The society members were pleased and Daisy rolled away. Later that day, Daisy arrived to see Henry. I'm sorry for calling you a typical diesel. I guess being boastful about being better than you got the better of me. I failed too. And I'm sorry too for teasing you. I guess we are both typical when it comes to breakdowns. After that, the two engines got along very well. At times, though, there can be the occasional teasing, but they are mindful to not take it too far. And so, Dennis, that was that! Hmm, I almost forgot all about that. Perhaps you should take the society after all, Daisy. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you saying that now because you might break down again? Henry laughed as he puffed away with his trucks.